A two-stroke motorcycle is one fitted with a two-stroke engine. These motorcycles had their golden years in the 1970s and 80s, but began their decline in 1984 because of tougher emission norms, exhaust noise, and other four-stroke motorcycles being more efficient, and four-stroke engines being more reliable for daily use. Despite this, two-stroke motorcycles continue to be well-loved. They become more and more popular as collectibles as the years go by. And there's a reason for all of this love. You see, two-stroke engines are louder, more powerful and lighter than modern four-stroke engines. So with a two-stroke engine, you get two movements that the piston performs in every cycle. During this cycle, a two-stroke completes the whole process of intake, air, compression and combustion. While with a four-stroke engine, the cycle consists of four different movements. In other words, a four-stroke takes twice as long to complete one combustion cycle. This means that a 500cc two-stroke can output a similar amount of power than a 1000cc four-stroke engine, whilst being lighter. So, win-win. Now, if you would like to know more about how two-stroke engines work, I'll do a full video where we talk about the pros, the cons, everything. So let me know if you would want to see that, then I can make a video. If nobody is really interested, I'm not going to make a video on it. But I mean, if a few people show interest, I'll actually make a video on everything like two-stroke related. Cool. But like I previously said, the two-stroke engines are pretty much extinct. In 1984, the sale of two-stroke cars and motorcycles was banned in the USA. The reasoning for the ban was tightening of emission regulations on vehicles. And shortly after, Europe followed suit, making it very unprofitable for manufacturers to build these bikes. As a result, 99.9% .9 of all bikes we see on our roads are powered by four-stroke engines today. But there are still a few companies out there making super exclusive and super rare two-stroke sport bikes. And today we are going to talk about one of them. This is the SRC 475. And although it looks like a factory built sport bike, it's not. This Frankenstein bike has parts from Aprilia and Honda, which becomes clear when you take a closer look at the logo. From Aprilia they got the chassis. Now the chassis is straight from the Aprilia RS250, which coincidentally was the last production two-stroke motorcycle. This chassis is made out of cast to inspire aluminium magnesium alloy, which makes it super light. Then for the heart of the machine, they took a 387cc liquid-cooled 90-degree three-cylinder engine out of the NR400, which produced 72 horsepower. They rebought the engine to 470cc, put cayenne carbs, Terry Shepard exhaust and digital ignition in it and all of this boosted the power to 88 brake horsepower on the rear wheel. Now you might say 88 horsepower doesn't sound all that impressive, well firstly it is on the wheel and yes it's not a crazy high amount but you must remember this bike only weighs 140 kilograms so it's super light, super nimble and tons of fun to ride. Plus, when you talk about special bikes like these, it's important to remember that they aren't built to be the fastest bikes on the road. They are made out of the love for classic races and the love for the technology. Now, before we end off this video, let's just quickly talk about the styling. Firstly, I feel like they did a great job giving hints as to what is going on underneath. You have the Honda Aprilia logo, the Oris on the side, the SRC logos everywhere. The bike almost looks like a legit co-developed bike from the two manufacturers, and it's not. And then the last thing I have to mention because it's just so damn cool is the triple exhausts. This is some MotoGP shit. I love it. The single exhaust under the seat gives me CBR600RR vibes and the two on the side scream RS250. This is a super special, super exclusive bike and because of that there isn't really all that much info available on these bikes, so I don't even know the price. But what I can tell you is I really like it and I would really love to ride one one day. But let me know what you think down below of these motorcycles, they aren't really for sale for use on the roads, it's more like a track bike and because of how rare and special they are, they are really expensive most of the time, these one-off two-stroke motorcycles. Do you think it's worth the money? Do you think it's cool? And like I said previously, if you would like to see a full video on two-stroke technology, let me know so I can make a video. Now, if you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. If you like anything car or motorcycle related, go through my channel. There must be more stuff you will like um, and I'll check you guys in the next one. Cheers, I.